It just came out of the shrine here, and uh, it's a very, very serious place. Everyone is rushing to uh, touch the, uh, the, the the tomb, the grave of uh, Imam Qasim. It's the area immediately outside. So what you do is you have to uh, check in your camera and your phone and they don't allow you to take it in and then they pat you down not once but twice to really make sure that you don't have your phone. You can see there's jewelry shops right outside of the mosque here. And uh, it's very, very crowded. Have a look here. It's all happening here in uh, Al Qadimia. I think if we go this way to the right, we'll see the clock tower. It's very beautiful. Looks like there's a restaurant up there, and I think this is all a uh, marketplace area. Pretty obviously, right? That's the clock tower right there. Bags and suitcases and whatnot. And uh, general chaos here. We're going to make a right here, maybe get a closer look of a little bit of the shrine and that clock tower. More jewelry. We're really going against the flow of traffic here. Ya Allah! Ya Allah! Hello. For what? He wanted money. I said for what? One more look at the clock tower. It is very ornate. And I think that's what makes it is uh, what you can see from the outside is uh, what you see. Inside, uh, there's a lot of mirrored tiles leading up to the tomb and it's just a mad rush towards those gold domes over there. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Yeah. 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 Oh no, it's okay. Thank you. The guy tried to sell me some socks. And see, there's this another gate into the shrine. The Kibla Gate. <laughs> Prayer beads. More prayer beads. Here you have it. So a lot of the mosque is like this, the tile work inside. You see some of it. There's some ice cream over here. People selling perfume. Food over here. It's the clock tower.
in the entrance. What is going on? We are at the Hotel Palestine in Baghdad. That over there is the uh, Baghdad Sheraton, the Sheraton Ishtar. You can see where the Saddam Hussein statue used to stand about 20 years ago. And it's uh, 10 p.m. on a Saturday night. So we are gonna go upstairs. There, apparently there is a rooftop bar. The World Cup is playing. That is my TV screen there. Five star Iraqi luxury. So we're gonna go upstairs and check it out. I'll see you uh, over there in the hallway in two seconds. So the hallway here. The elevator's right down the hallway. See a uh, old school retro vibe. I think Saddam Hussein built this hotel, right? Here we are. I'm gonna go upstairs. Uh, you can't hit the 18th floor, which is where the rooftop bar would be. So let's go up to 17 and see what's going on up there. I have no idea, but I don't know. It's probably hotel rooms, right? This is the 17th floor. I do hear music. I don't know. We'll see. It's definitely music playing. And, uh, I don't know if I want to go chase ghosts. This almost sounds like it's coming from downstairs. No idea where this music's coming from. Oh no, it's definitely coming from up here. Definitely something happening up on the 18th floor. Uh, I think uh, we'll just try another elevator because, I mean, there's people up there and they're having a good time, so we should check it out. So we're going back this way. 17th floor. I don't think there's any guests up here. Let's see. We'll use these elevators. Let's have a look here. No, nothing, huh? No, all right, so we'll go down to the lobby and uh, I guess I'll ask him what's going on. This is the special elevator in the lobby that goes to the 18th floor. So up we go. All right, let's see what's going on. Hello. 